Okay guys, um, we're trying out this new whole videoing process. John loves to watch these what did you get uh, haul home videos and so we thought it would be pretty fun to show you what he just picked up today. We just uh, brought home this latest edition. It's a about a 1969 uh, Galleon Grader. And um, she had a little bit of issues, but um, John got her all fixed up and uh, did a few things on it. Had to put some transmission fluid in it to get it to get onto the trailer and all. Uh, he hauled it home with this beauty. Uh, this is his um, prize hauling truck. Uh, we just got this a couple years ago, and he's been getting it, uh, slowly getting it all fixed up. He just added that awesome chrome bumper. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is a... Uh, 99 international eagle and um we acquired it from a friend of ours and um it was just kind of sitting in there a lot it was uh he was storing it for another friend of his and um so we ended up purchasing it from him and uh, this has been a great truck john did have to do quite a bit of work to it to get it all in the good running shape that it's in um he just got his new tires um and rims you guys know how much those buggers cost and so that was pretty fun to get brand new tread and uh shoes all the way around there and that fun bumper and all that stuff we have to still have to get the the uh top of the uh hood and the top of the cab uh painted up and fixed up all the paint is really good on it except the top and then the the hood and whatnot but she's been a hoot she's she's pretty fun um, yeah, that has been a really nice uh, rig to be able to use. And then my favorite part about it is uh, when I help him go acquire these little diamonds in the rough, uh, we have this new-to-ush trailer now. Um, and this is a, uh, God, is that a lead well? Oh, I think that's a lead well. Uh, the cool thing about it is it's a, um, has a hydraulic neck and a hydraulic beaver tail. And uh, the reason I like that is because... Um, the tail goes the whole way across. You don't have to worry about ramps or anything like that. But um, it just makes for loading and unloading so nice. It's it's Cadillac way to go there. But oh, there's the boss now. Look at him. There he is. There's John. He's a uh, master commander right there. He's the uh, Encyclopedia Britannica for all things trucks and equipment. And uh, yeah, so we're going to get this uh, gem fired up again and unloaded uh let me go talk to the boss and see if i can help him and then i'll uh show you where we end up I'll, I'll let you watch it get fired up and stuff all right well he's up there doing some kind of magic work on there being his magician self i want to try to check the brake fluid before i oh yeah that's right this thing doesn't have brakes that no, was pretty fun some, but just not a whole lot, so. oh you hear that some not a whole lot <laughs> so he's adding brake fluid Best to check it before here, and then I'll check the transmission because that, that where was you low. Put it at? Yeah. Huh. It needs a bath. Look at it. It's so dirty. She's been sitting for what? At least five years, John. Yeah. About five years, but she fired up like a champ. Oh my goodness! Once he got his little magic touch on there. Yeah. But look at that. I gotta get some new windshields for it. We got a guy for that though. We know a guy. And, uh, yeah, yeah, he's going to climb up in there and get it. So are you going to start it right now, John? No, I was just seeing. He's doing a give it a little once over before we fired it up again. Well, yeah, amazing you put brake fluid in it. You got brakes now. <laughs> Apparently all it needs is brake fluid. <laughs> you don't want that. <laughs> It'll do, eh? <laughs> the boss says it'll do. It's always good to have. I don't know how far this mic will go. I don't know what they can hear. I don't know. It's our first time, so. This is our first video, folks, uh, for doing this type of stuff. I've done other videos, but yeah. Not this type, but uh, yeah. Take it. Take a look at this uh, fancy trailer we have now, though. See, it's got the hydraulic tail there that folds out that back piece, and then you know the whole thing folds up and then lays down. 
That is that is slick. If you guys could get yourself one of these, this is the only way to, to haul trucks and equipment. And then even that the front deck right here actually hydraulically raises as well. So it's a nice long slope. And then there's a an awesome winch on the front of it. If something's dead, you can just winch it up there. And you'll get to see all that in action working. He's going to do all the levers and all that jazz. But yeah. This is a beaut. It's got a 14 foot blade. Is it a 14 foot bla blade, John? 14 foot blade. 14 foot blade. What's it run for a motor? 471 Detroit. A 471 Detroit. And the advantage of these, they use a Clark power shift transmission. And he said the advantage is it uses a Clark power shift. power shift transmission. Yeah, so I'm going to grab some more fluid for that transmission. Oh, the transmission was low. We got there and it would just barely creep forward and it wouldn't go or ba barely go forward or back. Both. Just barely move. Just hardly move at all. And then he was like, oh, it just needs transmission fluid. He put some in and she came to life. Yeah, but it's still low, so Oh, it's still real low. Oh, there we go. Some of these you check running, some you check not running. If it's low, not running, then it's really low. Oh, <laughs> Low, not running. It's really low. All right. All right. Well, we'll put you on a pause here till we get stuff figured out. And we'll be back for the uh, firing up and unloading stage. How's that? I'll be back. All right. So the boss has climbed in there. He's getting ready to fire it up. His truck up to do the trailer. Because the trailer needs a wet kit. The trailer has to have a wet kit. As well. I don't know if you can hear or not, but... I guess I'll just film it anyways, and if you can't, well, we'll figure that out next time. <laughs> yeah, so now he's got to do the trailer part. This is a, the controls are located so... Oh, here, here, here. So those controls do the tail back there. Where? You push the tail up. Then you do the tail lock. And then you, so I, I, he, he folded it up, did the tail lock. Now he's unfolding it to be able to lay it down. I mean, isn't that pretty stinking slick? Look how cool that is. Yeah. That is sweet. So that piece down there is the tail lock. Wow, who did guess it'd be so dark when you're trying to film in the sunshine on your camera phone? Yeah, but isn't that neat? God, I love that. I love that about it. It makes it so simple to be able to have one ramp all the way across. God. And uh, I'm pretty sure, this is 102, isn't it, John? Yeah, it's 102 wide, so you can't go. 48 foot long is what that is. And that is Cadillac. You can pretty well get in anywhere. This thing turns tight, turns on a dime. So are you gonna jump up in there, John? And then, yeah, see? See, he's showing you how it tilts up front there. Look at that, picks up the whole grader. Isn't that crazy? That is slick, right? Yeah, that is the only way to go. Come on now. Everybody needs at least two of those. Okay, he's gotta turn the truck off and then he's gonna climb up in the old girl and get her fired up for you. It's pretty loud. But uh, it'll do all the work of a new one for sure. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, but look how nice that is. That nice gradual angle. Yeah. And then with that winch, if anything's dead, boy, that makes it easy. Yep, there goes the boss. What is that? The disconnect switch cord. I shut it off. Oh, you turned off the... Disconnect. Oh, the battery disconnect. He has to flip that back on. He left the chain there in the middle on the blade. Because... 
the emergency brake doesn't work and he doesn't want it to roll. It's all froze up. There he goes. Yeah, see, he left the chain there. It actually looks in pretty good shape. Yeah. I think he's uh, managing some windows up there because it's a little bit warm out here. It's sunny. Here, we're trying to figure out why in the world somebody would put extra pieces of glass over the glass. It's not broken or anything. It's like kind of an odd concept for us. Not sure what the purpose is of that. So now he's going to fire it up up in there. Well, the, horn. the horn works. What the what? There's a few knobs under the right seat. Okay. Can you read it, anybody? What's it say? Out. I can't read a thing. I'm at the wrong angle. Watch the replay. <laughs> oh, quick start. No, that's what it says. I just heard the ether. Okay. Oh, quick start. That'd be nice. A fast start. I, oh, yeah, you could smell it now. Oh, well, hey, that works. Amazing. Whew. <laughs> yeah. Mmm. <laughs> What's up? It's not doing nothing. Are the lights on up here on the cab? Yes, now they are. Lights are on. Hmm. That was horn, was it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, horn. Let's see where that cigarette lighter works. I just watched him start it. What in the world? Hmm. All right, hold on. Let's get this sorted out. Hold on. All right, it was just a little camera shy. No, you got to wiggle the key. That's what it is. And, and the key was malfunctioning. Yeah. What is this in Detroit? Maybe the quick start. Smell. I smelled it. Oh yeah, there you go. Do you want me to go spray it up in there? That that can's in your uh, toolbox up on the trailer. Yeah. Hang on, guys. Gotta do the old uh, ether up in the, uh, or starting fluid up in the air cleaner trick there. It's got, it probably got gummed up junk in the fuel from sitting so long. Or she's camera shy. Come on, baby, you can do it. Come on, girl. There she is, smoking like a chimney. Mm -hmm. 
It's not even like, yeah. Not even. It's not even one, two. Something's not quite right. Check if the blower, if the emergency release didn't get tripped. Oh. Bouncing down the road if it trips the emergency shutoff. He said bouncing down the road, it might have tripped the emergency shutoff. Yep, so here you go. Here's the. I don't know if they can see it because I don't know, I can't see the screen. It's like all black on my side. Okay. You want it? I don't know if we can see it either. Well, so see your emergency trip right here. If this little dog is hopped down, A, you want to make sure it works. We'll check and see if that one was tripped and if that. Oh, yeah, and the ether injection doesn't do anything because the hose is rotted off here, so. Oh, so it's just pumping it's it out to me. It's just pumping in the air, though the bottle works, so, yeah. <laughs> it smells yeah. pretty. Next time, we'll put it in the bottle. Oh, and that's why they added the plug here, so you could just... Oh. Instead of fixing the tube that's right or through. Oh, that's hilarious. But that's... All right, if you guys are just getting a shot of the sun and I'm, like, blinding you with sun rays and circles, I'm sorry. I can't see the screen, it's black what you get for hey this is our first one bear with us let me give it a shot here <laughs> you get a good shot of john's pant leg Thanks. <laughs> it not to fall off. yeah don't fall off boss we don't need that much action shots <laughs> gonna give it a good sniffer again well right here into the intake you're not having to suck it through the oh the air cleaner there's a little plug right there. They did got a little cheater plug right there, yeah, see? I, know it. I don't know if you can. Maybe the screen's black. I don't know. If we edit it, we'll cut it out. <laughs> All right. Let's try it again. Take two. back there uh, probably help with a good snort of ether or a starting fluid whatever that was yeah that's what she did down there when we got her she just fired right up yeah that's a nice sound loud but it's nice because it's running So hang on, let me uh, help John take that chain off real quick and we'll come back and I'll show you what it's like him unloading. Oh, and never mind, the boss is going to take the chain off. It's, this process is probably going to go really quick. Uh, hang on one sec. Alrighty, got the chain off the FedEx came, so I had to like pause and get packages. Alright, I think he's ready to go. So let's uh, just let him get it unloaded here. He's lifting up the blade there. Sorry if it's out of frame, I can't see the screen. We're just kind of giving it a whirl here, taking a stab at it, hoping for the best. It's got brakes, he's saying. He's good. <laughs> Normally I'm up there, uh, go straight, turn left, whatever. <laughs> he's pretty good at this. He's gotten good by himself because he, he does it quite frequently now. Mm. 
Yeah, we like uh, uneventful. There it is, a Galleon T500. Nice, nice. gonna do a size comparison uh, he's got this beauty right here he just picked up and he's thinking about replacing it because um, he doesn't have as much money in it um, he's thinking about replacing uh, hold on uh, that one right there uh, we're gonna do a size comparison with this one this is the one he currently has and it's a little big uh, for doing our parking lot and stuff like that and uh, we're gonna compare it with this one this is a Volvo uh, G720 uh, it's nice it's it's a Cadillac it it's got all the widgets it's got AC and heat enclosed cab well that one has an enclosed cab as well but this one's got so many widgets it's not even funny uh, and I want to see it's like a uh, 2002 or something like that and this one's really nice yeah so uh, we'll line them up and once we get them lined up together uh, we'll give you a size comparison because we're hoping like that one has a 14 foot blade uh, but so does this one this one obviously it hydraulically tilts and turns and does all that fancy stuff that one hydraulically uh, turns and everything but it doesn't have the tilting of the blade so which it does manually you know so that's a good thing but yeah that one's just super nice but He's got quite a bit of money in that one, and it just sits here, and he, I think he's used it once, and he's owned it for like a year. So he was like, well, something for the occasion and do the one dirt project this year. Yeah. But he's figuring out something. Oh, it's cleared up, actually. It's not uh, smoking. I don't know if you can see that, because I don't know where the sun is for you guys. Sorry if it's all black. And if the sound is jinky, sorry about that. Let's see what the boss says. Hey, what do you think, boss? Ooh, that's gonna work. That's much quieter. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, it seemed like the transmission looks up good, and we'll fix some. I was looking at what was leaking in the cab. It's you know little O-rings, and fix that one steel line that rubbed on another steel line underneath, and that's where the main hydraulic leak is, and. Uh, it's a Detroit. Probably get the right oil in it because they probably Detroit. You always want to run straight forty weight. Nobody usually does. They usually run fifteen forty, and they love to leak if you have fifteen forty. So, yeah, I think I'll stow the tail on the trailer and park the Eagle, which is a ninety six International, oh, ninety four hundred, in fourteen. And an 8LL transmission. So that, that's, what's, a, well, that's what's in that girl right there? That's what's in our truck right there. She's a 96, say it again. What is it 96 again? 96 International 9400. No e-log exempt. 
460 horse N14 with 700,000 original miles uh, with an 8LL transmission. We put the wet kit on and works super nice. Towing our 2002 Leadwell trailer. Nice. So let me store the tail and we'll park that and then I'll put the Volvo grader next to this and we'll see if this one's really any smaller. Oh, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, so to do that, he has to start the truck back up so he can run the uh, wet kit. There it is. That is all. That's all she wrote. All right, so I'm gonna let him get this parked and then we'll uh, get the Volvo started up, fired up there and positioned here and we'll give you a little walk around hold on one sec all right she's all parked in her home now and john's getting ready to fire uh, this girl up so this is a 2002 volvo g720 vhp so this is used to be champion graders bought up by volvo this is the last year that they had the mechanical 83 cummins or bigger ones had the m11 cummins in them next year 2003 they put the volvo engine in them and made a whole bunch of mess out of it so really nice grader air conditioning 14 foot blade articulated uh front lift group for plug plumb for snow plow rear rippers and yeah just came in didn't just nice machine nice cab um nice controls plumbed for everything so we'll fire it up and back it out of here so all park right it and park it next to the galleon see what uh what would it be like 40 years difference yeah 2002 to, uh, really uh, not quite not quite yeah you know, yeah almost uh, 40 years difference though that's wild the same the idea so i'll fire it up and back it out okay yeah there there it is disconnect to stand back here in the perch depot. This one's a beaut. She's nice. Right? Come on now. That is sweet. You come out here anytime and she fires right up. It's fabulous. Yeah. I don't know how he's gonna trade from this one to that one. If it's just money, we can always make more. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Oh yeah, look at the size comparison back here. Oh wow. 
Okay, well fine. I guess there is a bit of a size difference there. <laughs> uh. Oh, wow. Oh yeah, look at the tires. Those tires are so much bigger and fatter. What is the cab? Probably a foot shorter, maybe? Yeah, probably about a foot shorter, probably. Let's go get a side profile look just to see what what that what that's like. You want to do the comparison walk around, huh? You want to do the little walk around? Well, it does look a little smaller, but I'm not sure. If... I know. I was kind of thinking. Well, it's shorter though. It and is really shorter. Just the cab smaller. Oh, is that well? But it looks like the cab's actually about a foot shorter. Like yeah. standing back here. It is. It's. Not too much smaller? Not Is it the same much. length? I'd say within a foot. Oh, seriously? Oh, is that it? About a foot, but you don't have the front lift group. You don't have the rippers on the back. Well, hold on a second. Hang on, boss. Let's get a, a back here. Let's see what that actually looks like. Let's do a little walk around the gravel pile here and see what that looks like. You don't have the rippers out the back. Oh yeah, yeah, but God, you're right. It's really not that big of a deal, is it? Oh wow, oh wow, yeah, 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 yeah. I guess there really isn't that much size difference in those. Overall length, I'd say four foot difference, you know. Well, would that make a uh, is that going to be a big deal with you doing your project or what? Four feet? No, it's actually be... kind of nice because when you're backing up to something, you don't have that oh. hanging out the back. But yeah, that's mine, true. That that works just as smooth. The controls are all hydraulic. It's power shift. Um, it, it works every bit as nice and smooth. And Even though it's not articulated, it'll be fine? For me, it'll be just great. The other one for... Yeah, you're building subdivisions, that that other machine, that's that's a road builder, you know. Okay. So this well, for being simple and a couple little leaks that are like those two steel lines rubbed together. Yeah. Um Yeah, I think. Well, there it is. There's a size comparison. There's the new gem. He's upgrading this uh from that measly little one there to this nice beauty right there, a little diamond in the rock. Say the little coin. So uh, there you are. I say keep the nice one with the AC, but you know if he's the boss. Yeah, you know it. Well, <laughs> everything's for sale, so we'll see how long it lasts, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, the there one. it is. Tell hey, we'll her. Do them when we try to go get the forklift. There you go. All right, we got a forklift. We're gonna pick up soon. Hopefully, we'll be back for that. Otherwise, you guys have a good one. Thanks for watching. Bye.